Just a few months ago, my life was totally normal. Although, no, it was never normal. I was raised by my mother alone. Funny name for a mother. As a child, I was a good boy, but... I wanted to be a lumberjack. No, as a teenager, not too much. Although, I have also done good deeds. Unfortunately, some time ago, I was left alone. For a long time, I couldn't find my way. Then I got GPS. I was taken care of by my uncle from Los Diablos, who was a car trader. I watched his work for months and I learnt the trade. But I've missed my hometown. I also decided that I finally have to find my way in life. I came back armed with knowledge and some cash from my uncle. I decided to follow in his footsteps and open a car dealership. I wonder what my story will be like. Hello guys, welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Car Trader Simulator. It's an absolutely brilliant game. It released just before Christmas. It's less than £10, it's less than £8. And for that sort of money, this game is absolutely amazing. There are a few things I would like to change in the game, a few UI changes and tweaks that I think would make it better. And I'd like to see a bit more depth in a few areas, plus a much bigger map. But on the whole, this is one of the best games I've ever played. And if I could have those few little tweaks in the UI and a bigger map, this would be one of my top 10 all-time best games. Let's jump into it. Mm -hmm. Phone call from Paula. Hi, are you selling used cars? No? Yeah? Uh, want to buy something? I want to sell. Meet me near the beach soon and trust me, it's going to be worth it. So I've played this game four times. I've tried to record this series four times. One time my microphone didn't work. One time I forgot to make myself laugh. One time I forgot to press record. Uh, and the first time, the very first play, Let's Play th uh, season that I did, um, I just, I didn't know enough about the game and I was kind of, I got myself a bit confused and it took longer than it should do to get anywhere. So <clears throat> it always starts like this. I need 10 grand and I have to go there. So let's get ourselves out. Let's go and meet Paula at the beach. So it always starts the same way, but I've played it three times now. This is my fourth playthrough, and not once has it been the same. It always works out different, every single time. So, we'll see how it goes. You called about the car. Indeed, I'm Paula. So where is it, the car? Easy, muchacho. It's in the warehouse, not far from here. It's a beast. Will you at least tell me what car this beast is? So it's business only with you, eh? It's an Alfieri, the fastest one in town. Come and take a look. And how has a woman like yourself become the owner of the fastest Alfieri in town? And who are you? A cop? That's none of your business. You buying or not? So I get to choose what I say. And what I say bases, uh, changes our lawfulness overall. And that's part of the game. It's quite cool. You'll see as we progress. Listen, doll, I don't like this whole shady vibe. I could call the cops right away, unless giggity giggity, naughty man. Or I could say, look, I'm not sure. This whole thing's kind of shady. You know what I mean? I don't want to get into trouble, but I'm not a scaredy cat, so I'm going to say this. Lawfulness just went down by 10% because I'm doing something illegal, you see. Unless what? Unless you can offer one very good discount on this Alfieri beast and make it the deal of my life. Fine, just don't call. So will you tell me about the car, now that I'm buying it? Ah, Kuono. Okay, fine. I might have been joyriding it. Turns out the bloke looking for it misses it more than I thought. What? You're making me buy a stolen car, one they're still looking for on top of that? Give me one reason not to change my mind right away. Aren't you listening? I'm selling it damn cheap. I'm better off without it. Well, I guess I'm in then. Never say no to easy money. Exactly. 
and it so happens that I desperately need it right now. But how about you pay me extra and I take you for a joyride? Giggity giggity. <laughs> Hell, why not? Nothing wrong with some fun, hey? Or I could say, bold of you, Chica, but don't get me wrong. It's kind of much for some entertainment. I don't know what that means. Let's see the toy I could actually afford, shall we? <laughs> she can say to that. Only you knew what you were losing right now. I do hope we meet again, though. And you better grow some cojones till then. Cool. We just bought ourselves our first car. It's an Alfieri Mega Rassasimo for seven thousand muck dollars it would be really cool actually if you could change all these names for uh, real names so the car is over here you can see by the uh, little flag icon but we need to hire a driver so um, hire. level one they're all level one 35 out of 100 484 wow the cheapest one out of the three let's do that salvador castro perfect um, so, let's get Salvador on the go. And uh, that'll be our first car. So over here on the left, you've got bidding from eBay and from uh, damaged insurance cars. They all seem to be damaged and broken. Alternatively, you can buy cars from the Dark Net. These are basically stolen vehicles. Or you can buy from this, Scouting LMG, which is legal cars. But again, a lot of them seem to be damaged. I mean, damage seems to be the thing, which is a little frustrating. I, I wish there were less cars that were damaged. But overall, as I've said a hundred times, this game is absolutely fantastic. Or at least I think I've said a hundred times because this is the fourth time of recording it. And I can't remember what I have said and what I haven't said. Right. So we've got some progress stuff. Scrapyard, every now and then the scrapyard will have some cars, that's the scrapyard here. You can send your mechanic down there and then you can repair cars using scrap goods instead of paying for them and that's a lot cheaper obviously. But I think there's a bit of a bug in the system because for a long time I fixed everything by paying money and I was still getting people complaining mm -hmm. that the cars were breaking, which is not how it's supposed to be. Hello friend, I hope you remember me. About the car you bought, you should hide it somewhere safe, keep it low, and wait until things calm down. Gonna cost you some money, but how do you say it? Better safe than sorry? I'm just gonna say, thanks, Paula, you're right. I'll do what I can. So we have a goal here. To bring one car with one driver and one tow truck. Paula's car, in any condition. To here. Now, it doesn't really tell you in the game, but because I've done this before, I think that's who she stole it from. So if we take it there, then they become our friends, sort of, uh, and then it takes a whole different tra trajectory. But I don't think we need to do that. I think we just need to take the vehicle back to our garage, which is here. Here we've got four slots, and just basically sit on it for a while. So I've got 12,500 in the bank. I'm going to have to buy something from somewhere so that we can actually start making some money. Now there's a Sakichi Moomri here, quite cheap. Or is that the Sakichi Moomri? I'm like, look how much the price goes up on that. Sometimes the prices on these are ridiculous. Let's have a look and see if there's anything online that I can afford. So seven and a half thousand for a Giovanni five thousand P hatchback in graphite. Um, that looks a little better. A Mazuri Mini Ma and a Bill Coupe. I wish I could change these names for something realistic. I I cannot differentiate half of them. That and that look incredibly similar to me for the grills are different but you know it's difficult to i mean that to me looks like uh maybe a jaguar or a, a mondeo perhaps looking a bit more like a jag than a mondeo that's probably like a chrysler or something i don't know i can remember those names i can't remember these names so 
I, I do get a bit confused sometimes. All right, so seven seven thousand three hundred for this. It's got forty two thousand miles on the clock. Two thousand and eleven gasoline front manual. Let's just see if anyone's interested in a gasoline front manual. Oh. I sure want something that's green. Let's let's take a gamble, shall we? We'll, we'll have a go at this. Um, because we've got to start somewhere. I think we're going to make a loss on this, but we'll we'll have a go. If you if you don't try, you never learn, will you? Right. Let's get my driver to drop that uh, nice car off, and then come and pick up this new car. So we're going to need a mechanic. So let's have a look at the mechanics. Level one, level one. There's only two to choose from, and he's much better. Wilma. Welcome, Wilma. And I'm also thinking we need... You were drunk in the casino and you played on a slot machine. You met a guy that wants to sell his car. Hang on. Oh, did I win some money? I won... Oh, jackpot. I won some money, so I can either have 11 grand or the car. But what's the car? And there's a 10% chance that the car is stolen. Mmm. 11 grand or the car. Let's gamble. Let's gamble, gamble. We just bought a Kenji Calibra for 11,000. I'm not sure that's going to make us a lot of profit, but let's see. Um, so there's a couple of criminals here. Uh, in the last play, in the last Let's Play, I've had a level three criminal right off the bat, which is excellent. Um, but I forgot to press record, so we lost her. Let's go take this car back to base. Oh, he's just picking it up now. And then we're going to send him down here to pick this one up. So we're starting to move in, uh, in the right direction. Send the mechanic down to the scrapyard. See here we've got some scrap. See it. We do have some scrap. And do we have a car in here? We do. We've got the Alfieri Maga Rassasimo. But uh, we can't really do much with that at the moment. Take our time a little bit. And things like uh, the uh, the jackpot at the, at the uh, casino... That's like a, a, a little mini side story thing that just happens randomly. I had, in my first Let's Play series, one of my mechanics died of a heart attack. Uh, after that, somebody got in a car crash. One of my employees got in a car crash. So, I mean, yeah, there's lots of um, interesting things that happen in this game. It's actually very good. I just wish the map was much bigger. Um, I, I honestly, already, I am super excited the next version that they release because this is so good already um, and if they take on board the requests and criticisms from players then the next one is going to be like I say but for a few UI changes and a bit more depth and a bigger map this would be one of my top 10 best games I've ever played it's so good it's so good already and it just it could be so much better with just a few little tweaks here and there, a few little things. Like when the police chase you and they're coming from the opposite direction on the highway, they shouldn't be able to stop you because you're going the opposite way. Things like that really infuriate me. And when you pick somebody and you drop them out of the out of the garage, it doesn't automatically select them as a character. So things like that could be improved. But it's not enough to make it a bad game. It's such a good game. And like I say, it's only like £7.50 or something. It's incredible. Incredible value for money. Uh, okay, so it's 897 a week. So that's... We need to make at least 1000 a week at the moment to stay afloat. You see, we've got 3361 in the bank. We've got to repair all the cars we've got. Then we've got to try and sell them. So it's, it's a tricky, tricky situation.
And this one here is a bit of a gamble. There's a 10% chance it's stolen. We don't know if it's stolen. No, it's not stolen. That's awesome. It's not stolen. Right, we'll have a look at these three cards we've got and we'll see how much they're worth in a moment. But um, I'm just having a quick look here. There's a Yataro Mendez here. Quite cheap. But that's probably the cheapest I've ever seen a car. Slightly high mileage though. All right, so we'll drop this off. We'll get the mechanic to take a look at it. So it needs a little bit of repairs. We're going to do our markup at 25%. So potentially this could work out as being quite a good deal. Remember we had 11 grand and we swapped it for this. Um, so we'll probably have to change the color on that at some point. Let's get this one fixed up. A bit more expensive, 1,200 to repair that. Not quite so good. You can see it's worth 9,000 at the moment. What do we pay for it? 7,000. So we're looking at maybe a couple of thousand profit, not a lot of profit. Hey, Wilma's ready to level up. That's cool. Let's do that. So Wilma's just leveled up. And we can see here we can buy some equipment that makes uh, their jobs easier. If I give him the full garage equipment, that's five grand. Okay, I can't afford to do that right now. We will at some point though, we'll make them as efficient as possible. Right, so we've got one person looking for a car, she's looking for mm -hmm. something red. Judith Mulholland, how am I? I'm good thank you Judith, what are you looking for? Hybrid, red, automatic, I haven't got any of those, I don't have an SUV either. Um, yeah, I've got nothing that's of any good to her whatsoever. No way I can sell her any of these. Um, let's have a go. Let's make it red. You see, we've now got one dot. Let's just see if she's interested. Uh, see, I don't know. Can you show me something else? I could show you this. Let's make this red as well. Why not? It's only a thousand dollars of wasted. Uh oh. -uh. Why would I ever want this? Okay, well that didn't go well. It's okay, we'll figure it out. We'll get there in the end. So what you can do if you're not doing too well of selling the car yourself is you can sell it on here. People will make an offer. And you won't make as much money, but uh, you may make some profit. You may make some profit. One thing you can't do, which I find quite irritating, is when you've put it up for sale, you can't then take it down. Uh, so that that's one thing I think needs to change in the game in the future. Right, so, um, are we still on this mission here? Yeah, I'm not taking Paula's... I'm not taking Paula's car to hide there. I'm just keeping it here. I don't need to do any of this. I know because I've already done this once. So that Yataro Mendes, two and a half thousand... Another thing you can do is take out some loans. You've got a payday loan here, which is like 100% payback. You've got a bank loan here, which is like 25%, 50% payback. Slightly less, slightly more rather. 60% payback, something like that. You've got a family loan, which is 500 quid payback and you know lasts for a lot longer. And then you've got a mafia loan, which is like 40% payback. But um, yeah. 40% on top of what you pay back, so 140%. Um, yeah, I don't really want to get in with the Mafia too much. But I need to make some money, so one of these cars has to go on here, and it's going to be this one, because I can afford to take a bit of a loss on this and still earn more than the 11 grand that I won in the casino, and basically that's all I've got at the moment. So fingers crossed that's uh, going to happen. Did I miss that? No, there it is. The Yatoro Mendez. So I might have to borrow some money off Uncle. In fact, I don't think I'm going to get that for two and a half thousand. The, pri the bidding prices on this are just, this is out of control. 
it's almost pointless this thing because the prices they they bid up so high way beyond what the car's worth on an easier level there's like an indication here to tell you how much profit is in it but um i don't really see that very much but i'm going to take the family loan just to make sure i don't go into debt Look at that, already out of my price range, immediately. That's up to, what, six grand? There you go, three times the guide price. And that seems to happen all the time on that bidding thing. It just seems broken to me. There's the black market thing there. I haven't really tried that yet. Wow, it's quiet. Every time I play this game, it's totally different. It's never the same twice. And this week, nobody's looking for cars. All right, let's see if we can drum up some interest. Let's create an ad. Oh, nice. The tax office called. They've made a mistake and they'll return a substantial amount of money of the tax I paid. Fabulous. We're doing well at the moment money coming out of nowhere so I can't do anything with that I can't put an ad up for that because it's I can't do it with that one either so I can't do anything with that because it's on the uh, for sale site over here but I, my hands are kind of tied I haven't got any money to buy anything and I I can't sell any of these at the moment so we have to try and do something maybe Maybe a take on. Maybe we don't go down the legal route. Maybe we go down the illegal route. We've got a level two here. In fact, they're all level two. Look at this. Level two, very expensive. Eight hundred and fifty-three a week. Oh, something happened. It's all updated. Ah, oh, we didn't do it quick enough, and now they're all level one people. All right, well, she's level one at 40 out of 100. So I actually, I'm going to hire her. I'm going to buy her a moped because it allows her to steal things quicker and move quicker. And that's her. Done. Um, and I had, I had uh, a criminal in my midst, in my workforce before, who I gave a massive upgrade. I think I bought her a trailer or a police scanner or something. And as soon as I gave it to her, uh, we found a car, she stole the car, she took the car plus the scanner, I never saw her again. <laughs> and I just sent her to university. So she cost me about 15 grand. So you gotta be really careful in this game. Don't trust anyone. Right, we're gonna get our crim to do a little tour of the area. Hopefully come up, what's going on here? I'm not pressing shift, that's what's going on. Start there. Oh, she found a car already. What is it? A Chung Cent Bleu. Right, this is a real gamble because her scope of police presence is tiny. So there could be a copper right on her, and I'd never know. But it's so close to the base, it's worth, worth a gamble, I hope. Really, what you need is two or three people to do this efficiently. to get lucky on this one but this is a stolen car guys an absolutely stolen car nice that went without a hitch so we've got the garage is full we got four cars in there I'm just gonna send her over here because these things are, are like perks but she could level up just by driving over the top of this to see what happens what she gets Reputation plus one, so that we got a, a reputation boost for that. I'm going to send her over here and see if we can't get that one as well. Right, looks like we got some emails. Scrapyard's got some stuff. And mm -hmm. Ava's looking for a car. A sedan, hybrid, we haven't got a hybrid, automatic. Obviously, the more cars you've got, the better chance you have of having something that she's actually going to want. 
Um, so we tick one box with the Chung St. Bleu and the Alpha Alfieri Mega Rassasimo, because they're both automatics. But uh, other than that, not much going. So, hmm. And you see we've got this timer across the top. I could change the colour of that so that it's in her more engaging for her, but to be honest with you, I think... It's a waste of my time. So instead, I'm going to scout around and see if we can't pick up another couple of cars and repair this one because we'll get more money for it. It's worth 2 8 now. Remember, we stole this car, so this is pure profit. And take a few seconds to get fixed. See, there's a copper right behind us. We can only tell that because of our range. But as she ranks up and levels up, she'll be able to see more stuff or see a, a greater distance. We can also come in here and buy the police scanner, which doubles the amount of distance that she can see as well. Oh, hello, what have we got? A Sissima SUV. Is that what he's looking for? No. This is very dodgy. Very dodgy, this one, because of the location of it. Actually, that could be good, because it's right on the highway. Right, this is a gamble. But, uh... We need something to pay off. We've only got $1,000 left. We've got to pay our uncle back as well. Oh, look, you went the wrong way. I knew you did. I thought it was odd that it was on the motorway. No coppers around there right now. We're going to have to come out of there and round. It's going to be very tricky. I found something else as well. Masarino Villain. We could get two cars here. In my previous Let's Play, the one that I forgot to press record on, I'd already completed Mission 1 by now. <laughs> I heard a blip. Coppers, by the way, are faster than we are, even with our speed upgrade. And you can see we've got no spots left for this car, so the, the crim is going to have to sit in there with it for a little bit until I sell something. All right. So we've got some people interested. What can I sell? Somebody here's got to buy something. Mm -hmm. Giovanna Gonzalez is looking for something in Cyan. Hello, handsome. Oh. I'm looking for a sedan, honey. Hmm. I haven't got any sedan honeys, but... Well, uh, what have we got here? What about... If I change... It's fully repaired. What colour is she looking for? Cyan. How about that, honey? What do you think of that? I knew you are going to have it. Does the car have working lights? Yes, the car has working lights. You have nothing to worry about. Nice. We're going to get our first sale. Uh, the front right brake. Yeah, that's working. Just fine. Discount for a princess. <laughs> I can sell it to you for 19000 uh, So it cost me 1041 It's worth 23000 So let's offer it at that price. 2300 she wants to pay. Yeah, we'll take... Uh, what? So we'll make 1,600 profit. There we go. Or 1,200 profit after repairs. 
So, that was that the one we bought legally? I can't remember where we got that car from, if I'm being honest with you. It's gone anyway. Immediately sold. It's nice when that happens. That doesn't happen very often. There's some more scrap at the scrapyard. And... Okay, mm -hmm. let's see if we can sell something else here. She's looking for an SUV. I've just sold the SUV we had. Got a hatchback. Got two hatchbacks. Uh, and this is the only one that's close to what she wants. So if I respray this as black. See if I can sell it to her. Uh, no, I haven't. That's the only one I've got at the moment. Sorry, come back when I've got more cars, I guess. Mm -hmm. Barbara's looking for a sedan, hybrid, manual. This could be better for us. Yeah, that's manual. What colour does she want? Cyan. Giovanni is very happy with her car. Yes, our reputation's going up already. Look at this. Uh, okay, I can only sell her this one. So, we want to make this Cyan. Ah, oh, I haven't got enough money. Blast. We'll try it. Ah, oh, show her something else. I can't show her something else because it's locked me out of the car, which means I can't respray it again. A little frustrating, but that's the situation we're in. How are we doing here? stick them both up we've got two cars listed on on the online site not going particularly well we're not getting this is the quietest i've ever seen this game there's like hardly anyone looking for anything this man just wants gasoline where's my criminal drop that car i did have an suv after all look we got Right, let's just make sure it's 100%. Oh, I've got no... I don't have enough parts. Blast. Uh... Do you know what? I'm going to have to take a loan here. We're going to go for a bank loan. We've got 21 minutes to pay it back. But we can at least get these cars fixed up and sold. And that's the key thing, is to keep the cars moving. The Susanna's Zuzana, Zuzana Hernandez is looking for something in black. I think we could probably do a deal for her. Hey, that's not bad. Chung Soprano. Another thing I think this game needs is the ability to set alarms. Like, I really want to buy that. But it's not going to be available for six minutes. Well, in six minutes, I'm going to be busy doing something else. And uh, we're going to miss the opportunity. All done. Spray this bad boy black. Let's see if mm -hmm. we can sell it to this lady here. Zuzanna. 28,000 in the bank. We need to have 50,000 in 20 minutes. How do you do, Susanna? Looking for a sedan. Damn it. How does that tickle you? Wow, just what I was looking for. That's lucky. Is the engine in perfect condition? Yes, it is. Nice and shiny. That's great, she says. She wants a front left fender to look like new. Yeah, well, you're in, you're in luck, because that's what it looks like. How much does it cost? You can have it for 11,000. What? I can't pay 11,000, that's too much. How about 10,000? Yeah, we'll take 10 grand. Boom. Job done. And that's how we roll, guys. Take a stolen car, we flip it. Sell it as quick as can. Right, let's drop you out. So he's doing quite well, our, our little crim. Um, he's earning quite a bit of cash for us so far. Paying his wages, definitely. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire a second crim, though cheap as possible they're all level one which is a little frustrating uh and then we're gonna 
spend a lot of money on a police scanner. <laughs> Drunk in the casino again. 9,000 this time. Should we take the car? We just bought a Dutch Wagon Turtleneck version 6 for 9 grand. It's stolen. Knew it would be bloody stolen this time. Not that that bothers us. That's kind of the... Uh, that's kind of what we do at the moment. Right, so... Um, now you can see the her, her scanner is much wider. Come and park by the car. Don't go in the car yet because there's coppers about. Which way is that copper going? Going straight on. Okay, that's good. Uh oh, he's coming back. That's not good. Which way is he going? Right, we're going to have to go the other way. Copper's coming. He's on the chase. There we go. There's a turtleneck version 6 there. Right, good. Let's get our driver to go pick up our car that we bought. Our stolen car that we bought for way too much money. Whoops. Get back in there. Oh, it's close. Okay, get the mechanic on this one. Get it repaired. 231, that's pretty good. Drop the mechanic out. Send it back. This is good. And then we can... Uh, we can already see that there's no police in the near ah oh, in the near vicinity, but unfortunately, fortunately, the car disappeared before we could do anything. Right, let's get you going around, driving about, looking for cars. Hope we find something good quickly. Okay, driver's picking up the car. We got a few here. Can we shift any of these cars? Let's try and get rid of a couple of them at least. Uh, in the at the end of the day, I want to come out of being illegal and just do legal stuff. He's looking for an electric, mm -hmm. which I can't help him with. Steve Picasso, how are you today, sir? Looking for a car? Can I help you out? So all I can do here, respray this to light grey, which is what he's looking for. Oh, that's the Rastasimo. I can't respray that one. So no, sorry, mate. I've got nothing for you at all. And he's looking for mm -hmm. something electric, but we don't have any electric cars either. I haven't seen any electric cars at all in this game yet. They do exist. Again, nothing that we have nothing of interest to him. A leap camper. What's this? Kim Spirit. Neither of them look that exciting. That's a van, though. Lots of people want vans. I've never seen an actual van before. I'm quite tempted to have a go at this. It'll be the first van that I've actually found. See, there's a copper nearby. Where's that copper going? Ah, too late. Too late. We missed it.
Right, we'll send the crims out looking for more cars. Mm -hmm. He's looking for a gasoline car, black hatchback. We might be able to do a deal here. Hopefully so. Goodness me, still haven't got rid of that. Oh, look, we've got one that actually really ticks his fancy. We'll spray it black as well for the extra bonus. There's no way he's not buying this. Neat, he says. Does this car drive? Yes, of course it drives. Like brand new. From 2008, with 110,000 on the clock. Sixty-five brake horse. What price do I offer? Um, cost me seven hundred and thirty-one. It's worth four hundred, four thousand one hundred. So I'll offer it to you for five thousand two hundred nineteen. Pardon? <laughs> I beg your pardon. I thought you said five thousand two hundred nineteen. Four thousand four hundred. He's offering, and it's worth. 4,000, yeah, we'll take 4,004. It's worth less than that, so we'll take that. Nice. 3,669, pure profit from stolen. Thank you very much. And finally, an online offer for this one. 7,366. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. I think we took a loss on that. They probably haven't come to pick it up yet, no. So, uh, yeah, and annoyingly, it all goes black, so you can't read anything after the deal is processed. Again, I find that quite irritating. Because how are you supposed to check things afterwards? Did I make a profit? Did I make a loss? I don't know. It might tell me when he comes to pick it up. I don't know. Let's see. So, um, yeah, 12 minutes to get 50 grand in the bank. Not going to be easy. We need to get rid of this Alfieri Mega Rassasimo real quick. Kenji Celebra. It's quite a nice little car. Let's, uh... Ah, oh, I can't do anything with that because it's up for sale as well. Looking for an SUV. At the moment, we've got nothing we can sell because it's all stuck in here. That's what I was saying to you before. Once you put a car up for sale, you can't un up for sale it which is really irritating so i can't not have it on there and sell it to this guy who's looking exactly for that car it's can be frustrating at times look at that 20 grand that's going for i'm sure this is broken the prices just make no sense at all. Hey, that's not bad. 2006, 70,000 miles on the clock, 3.5, and that doesn't look to be damaged. 43 seconds, I might have a go at that. Oh, what have we got here? Narrow Shogger Public. Let's go get it. See the police are here. Another policeman here. This could be tricky. This could be very tricky. Right, the steel is on. What we'll do is we'll get the one with the scanner to start driving up. To give us a heads up of what's coming in ahead of us. And then we can just follow on behind her. With extra visibility on what's going on. So if we do see anything, hopefully we'll be able to uh, manoeuvre out the way. It's gone very well. So we made a loss of 2,600, I thought we did. But sometimes when you're not making profit, that's that's a problem. You need to uh, get rid of it. Problem car. Okay, Groovy. That's another car in the yard. Get the mechanic on it. 
Mr. Wilmer. Is it okay? It's a good condition car, that one. I missed out on the sale over here, though, because I was distracted by this. Never mind. Can't win them all. Not all at the same time, at least. Oh, and he's got that stolen car that I'd forgotten about. Get that fixed up as well. Not too bad. 673. All right, let's get the crims outside. Get them checking out around for more cars. More bargain cars to uh, to sell to our lovely customers. And pick up a few perk points as well whilst we're at it. So we still haven't completed mission one. I kind of feel like it's going to force me to take the car there. I really don't want to. I didn't do it the first time. Oh, that's not a bad little car, actually. I need you over here, lickety-split. What's this? Yeah, not too worried about that. I didn't see any police over here at all, so I'm hoping we're just going to be able to drive all the way up here and then all the way back here. That's the route I want you to do. Not you, you! Oh, it can be a bit clunky at times. I think we're safe. I think we're safe, I think we're good. Oh, there's the police, they're after us, but we're so far ahead. It's not going to be a problem. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. automatic let's see if we can shift a car then we can offload that car i'm gonna have to take i don't want to but we're gonna have to take this car to uh to over there so he's looking for a blue automatic uh let's just make this blue Okay, he says it's trash. Yep, can't really help you then if that's the attitude you're going to have. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the diesel guy, see what we can do for him. Uh, let's take this car here, I don't really want to. I thought if I just held it in my garage that would let things die down, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Uh, do I have any vans? I nearly stole, I mean, I nearly had a van. So we got a text message as well. Right, okay. Uh, what's he looking for here? Something in red. Let's respray it red. I don't have a van, but I have this. He doesn't like it. Well, then I've got nothing for you, basically. Oh, Gerino. Yeah, that's worth uh, that's worth a go. All right, we'll drop that off. Drop him out and send him over here. Get the mechanic on this. Create an ad. Try and drum up a bit of business. Now this could be worth some money, this one. Right, no cops in the immediate vicinity, which is awesome. Looks like we're going to get away with another one. Kim Juanto. Oh, you might as well grab that as well. There's no cops in the area. You need some practice. This guy's about to level up. Look, employees level up. But now if I go back to him, you can see that his scan range has just increased dramatically. That's good stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Goodness me. I'm so going to get arrested doing that one time. Uh, right. 
Same thing here, just need to get her back to the base as quick as possible. I think we're going to be fine. All right, she's looking for something in pink. Ava. I'm sure we can help you out, Ava. So Dan, Yataro, she's looking for. Uh, yeah, we got the Artishok uh, Public. If I can make that pink, it is pink. Surely, that I mean, that's perfect for you. Look at it. Oh. What is she looking for then? Sedan Yatare Diesel. Mm. Alright, let's try making this pink. See if I see if I can entice her in with this. Uh no. Th that's all I've got, lady. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Gene Sanders is Sanderson is only looking for a manual. Yo man, how's it going? It's going good. How you going? SUV in pink. Oh look at this. This is an easy sell. If I just made that red, I don't know why I didn't repaint it red, because that would have been the first time I've ever had exactly the car being asked for. Girl's gonna love it. Oh that's a dude. I thought it was a girl. Okay. Here we go. This should be good. 25,000. That gives us the 50 grand we need. You want to make me bankrupt? Oh, he's going to offer 26.2. Perfect. I bet you if I had all five, he'd just pay what I, I asked for. Great stuff. The car's safe, says the driver. We've got to wait a bit of time, and that'll be the end of that. That'll be the end of that mission. So that's good. Okay, that's gone reasonably well. Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too, as well, Kent Wagner. <laughs> he's a reporter, is he? On uh... oh, look at this. We got exactly the car he's looking for. He's looking for a pink hatchback, gasoline, pink manual. Has the car been repaired? Yes, it has been repaired. Two easy cells in a row. How brilliant is that? You've got to love that. This will be the first time I've sold a car with five stars on it. Just name the price. There you go. He's not even going to quibble. So let's say 10 grand. For such a clunker. 6.9. Yeah, we'll take 6.9. We'd have taken anything, really. It's a stolen car. <laughs> it's a stolen car. So it's pure profit. Pure, pure profit. Right, so how long have I got before I've got to pay the loan back? One minute and 30 seconds. Wow. Just in time. How brilliant is that? Just in time. But we've only got 6,000. We've got 6,000 and a bunch of cars. We do have quite a few cars, I suppose, actually. Get the old mechanic on them, fix them up, sell them on. We're in a position to come out of this with about 20,000 in our pockets, I guess. Maybe I should have a go at one of these uh, dock gamble bins. That could get us onto the legal side of things, because at the moment we're totally illegal, obviously, since we've stolen every car we've sold except for the first one. So let's get rid of that and that keep our eye on the black market because this that could be easier than having criminals going around and stealing them not as cheap obviously but easier oh this could be it this could be the end of our mission for today guys we go. Mm -hmm. It's my uncle. Let's see what he wants. My favourite relative, tell me, how is your shop? Hey, I'm so glad you're calling, uncle. I could use some advice. Well, what can you tell me what the words of English that I speak? I've just made a deal with a woman and it wasn't, you know, completely legal. I'm not sure what to do about it. Should I turn her in and if so, to whom? The police or the guys who are looking for her? Well, it depends. Is she dangerous? Do you hold a personal grudge? 
no and no it's nothing personal but i'm thinking it's just not right she stole a car yeah 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 we still how many cars have we stolen this makes no sense look just be honest with yourself for a moment and listen to what your conscience says well she seemed really scared she made a mistake but we all do damn if i handed her over i'd have to turn myself in as well i'll let it be that's what i'm doing lawfulness down to 21 that's okay we can fix all this this is just what we needed to get our foot in the door consideration has always been your strength let's hope it ends well thanks uncle this talk really helped there we go what does it say so i've just got to wait some time and then that mission will be over perfect perfect mundo let's get this car fixed up oh that's expensive to repair but then it didn't cost us any money so uh why should i care too much about that hey that's not bad that's that gerino n3 oh there you go i was saying to you about this Rabina Stenagaga, she got injured. She was injured and she's now in the hospital. So she's going to be there for a couple of days. Seven, eight minutes we're going to be without her. We're not really going to be able to steal anything in that time, which is you know, possibly a good thing. I don't know. We're not getting a lot of offers coming in, which is mm, frustrating. And we haven't got much money. Oh, we've paid the bank back. That's good. So we're out of debt, we've got four cars, so we could potentially have 40 grand once we've sold these. What's that worth? 14, 20, 30, yeah, 40, yeah, just over 40 grand we could have at the end. So this is a black market car. We can't bid on it, we haven't got the cash. But let's start flogging some cars on the black market put some of our cars up because we've got loads now we're not going to get the same amount of profit for them but they should sell quicker that's the idea anyway do I have any legal cars I do I have one legal car right so we've put them all up online so we're just waiting for people to contact us online and we can sell them. And then we have to wait for them to come pick them up and that's about it. Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm guessing it's your mercy. I'm still walking free, isn't it? You would have done the same. Don't worry about it. I'm just wondering, where will you go? Yeah, about that. Turns out I've got nowhere to go. I thought maybe I could work for you. I'm great with cars and I'm damn sure no one would be looking for me in Bricklin. I'd be happy to have you. We could use a good mechanic, but are you sure they won't be looking for you? Maybe we should tell the police. I don't think it's necessary, but if it's going to help you sleep at night, then fine. Maybe you're right. I don't need more trouble. Let's ju just pretend this never happened. Right, here we go. From this point on, we're going to try and be law-abiding citizens. We have a new mechanic in Paula, and she's really good. That's Mission 1 completed, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Oh, we got our car. Fantastic. Let's go pick that up right now. We can sell it. Where is it? It's down there. Down by the university. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.